So somebody asked me yesterday if I ever gave Donald Trump a chance. And I said no. But you have to understand why. The reason why I didn't give Donald Trump a chance is because I own a company that works with a lot of contractors. Do estimates and whatnot for contractors. A lot of other support for other folks in the industry, but that's enough said. Anyway, what happened was uh, a buddy of mine that was a contractor up in New Jersey called me up one day and said, Hey, man, uh, I got this opportunity to do this business with Trump. And it's just, it's huge. And I, I, I think I'm going to do it. And I said, well, I, I get that you're going to do it. But it, it might be in your best interest to think that through. Because, you know, the honest truth is that dog bites. And he said, yeah, I understand. But I mean, I'm going to write a tight contract and blah, blah, blah. You know, so he, he takes the gig. And he tells me later he's having a little bit of problems getting getting uh, getting paid. Fast forward three and a half years. He still hasn't been paid his three point five million dollars. He's been worn down pretty awfully. And Trump's attorneys said that they would pay him one point two million dollars. And that was it. He took the $1.2 million. The day that that showed up as certified funds, he took the title to every truck he owned. He owned a pretty decent sized company. He took a bill of sale for a bunch of other equipment, generators, arc welders, all kinds of stuff. Ladders, you name it, jib crane. He went to another place and he sold all of that and walked out with certified funds. He went to the bank. He deposited those funds into the bank. Then he gave a list of amounts and people and companies that he needed to cut checks to. And they cut certified funds to all those individuals. He took those checks, he went down to the post office, he individually sent every one of them out in the, by express mail. And then he went home and he blew his brains out. He blew his brains out because Donald Trump decided to take advantage of the little guy. And he couldn't handle the failure. Fast forward a couple of years later, a friend of mine who is a professional photographer pick a, picked up a job for $120,000 from Trump to take pictures of his property. Three months after it was done, he couldn't get paid. He ended up have, have, having to file a lawsuit, and only after the lawsuit was he paid. He still had to spend about $12,000 in, in legal fees, so he pretty much had to a pretty big haircut. And another friend I have down in Boca had a father who was in the dry cleaning business. And years ago, he did dry cleaning work for Donald Trump. And Donald Trump never paid him. And he just about lost his business. And he did lose his spirit. And he was never the same. So when you ask me if I'm ever going to give Donald Trump a fair shake, no. Because he didn't give anybody else a fair shake. He has no moral barometer. And you can tell that truth that I just told you. That's true pain that I'm talking about. The people I know are new. 
You can tell that to people in the Trump cult. And it's like they can't even hear you.